Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of SnowRunner. And today, it, this is only a short episode, we're going to be looking at trucks that carry trailers whilst also carrying cranes. As you can see, we've got a selection down the bottom there of all the trucks that do this. So without further ado, let's get on and take a look at the list. First things first, let's, let's get off here, a bit high up. It's either going to go well or it's going to go really bad. There we go. Land it. No. Oh well. Let's recover it really quick. There we go. Back out of the garage bit. So, not the best start, better start nonetheless. Right, so, around the corner, let's see what trucks we've got. We'll drive by. All these trucks, I've tested each one of them. Every one of these trucks here now. Every one of these trucks here. We've all got a side bed trailer, a crane. But the one thing that they've all got in common is that they can all carry an extra trailer. Now the reason being is that there's nothing worse than you come out and you get a truck. You, you attach your crane, especially if you've got um, ones where it says crane is a must. So if I go into this, so we're in the Ford. Just reverse it back just a little bit. Each one of these crane, each one of these with the crane. You can see will all carry an extra trailer. And that was the whole reason for doing this. So as they stand, you've got your international pay star, which is let's go to the map. International pay star, just so you can see them a little bit more clearly. There's this one here. Good little all-rounder. Most people go for this uh, to begin with. Once you've got the race suspension and everything on it, good little truck. So that's truck number one. You can see caught up on the, on the rock there. So let's carry on to the next one. We've got the Transstar, also an international. Your little truck, it's a little highway truck this one. It's not as fast, as not as nimble as some of the others, but to get you into some uh, tight areas, it's not a bad little vehicle to have. Once again, it's an international. Uh, moving on from there. You have the Fleet Star, which at the beginning of the game. So if you want to get through those earlier missions and you're new to the game, this is the one to have. This has got chain tyres on, so take the handbrake off, does help. So once again, it's quite a slow vehicle this one, but you've got all wheel drive and you've got the exception of having diff lock as well. Quite a nice sounding truck this, very throaty. there we have the Azov 73-210 which is a big long beast now I usually have this with the large crane attached to it and the added bonus of this one is that it's also rear steer as well as you can see there rear tires move 
So the turning angles on this are pretty good. Such a long vehicle. It will turn around quite sharply. Quite a slow vehicle, quite a low slung vehicle as well. There isn't a raise kit for this. So you have to bear that in mind. But even though it's quite low, and you think it'll get caught up on, on those things, but I get over here really quick. Go through this little mud patch here. Let's see, it, it nose dives, but it's got plenty of traction there, and it, it will pull through. All wheel drives are on at the moment, so yeah, not a bad little vehicle. Like I said, I've mainly used this one um, with the crane for when I'm. Uh, for all those trucks that you can't carry a crane on the trailer for or you tip the load. That's that one. Right, moving on. Make sure I stay where I am. Uh, yeah, the Ford CLT 900. I think we've just looked at that one, have we? Yep. This was the one that we took out before. Again, it's not a bad vehicle, but, you know, as the name suggests, it's a highway vehicle. For places like Michigan, it's not too bad, uh, as long as you're staying on the tarmac roads. Um, it's quite nippy, but no all-wheel drive and no diff lock. So, quite a basic vehicle. Like I said, the only thing it's got going for it is that you can attach a trailer to it. So yeah, that's that one. Next in the list, we have the GMC MH9500, which again is another starter vehicle. Um, like I said, if you're new to the game. Another one that's uh, quite handy to have. This one does have diff lock, but it does not have all wheel drive. So you need to bear this in mind, guys, when we're driving around. Once again, this isn't too bad uh, for driving around Michigan and stuff. Uh, when you get to Alaska, it'll do fairly well in Alaska as long as you've got the chain tires to go on there. Obviously, raise the kit. This, once again, has not got all-wheel drive, but it has got diff lock, as you can see. Now how much I try and wiggle those tyres. Uh, let me pull ourselves out. Sure. Right. Next we have the Freightliner 114 SD. As you can see this is another one if you go to the trailer park. You can add a trailer to. So not very fast vehicle. But it does the job. Like I said, the thing all these trucks have got in common, all seven trucks. They've all got a crane feature on them, so you can take the crane with you. Got to look a little bit of a mess out here. But yeah guys, just wanted to show you uh, just these trucks, just to give you a bit of a helping hand, so rather than you know, having to mess around yourselves in the garage, finding out which trucks do what, these are the seven that you need, and these will all help you out. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a like, leave a comment, good or bad, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.